A Couch and Tribes family is in mourning after one of their loved ones died in a weekend blaze. The fire destroyed an RV on the reserve. RCMP are treating the incident as suspicious until foul play can be ruled out. Czech News reporter Kendall Hansen has details. For a second day, Duncan RCMP are at a Cowichan Tribes property where a fire claimed the life of a person just hours into the new year. Tarps are protecting what evidence remains around the recreational vehicle destroyed in the flames. And those on the tight-knit reserve are in shock about what's happened. I still get teary-eyed when I think about it or try to talk about it. It really mm. shook me up. <laughs> Neighbors John and Georgina Crocker awoke around 6 Sunday morning to what sounded like firecrackers going off. They rushed from their home to see a large glowing area just two doors down. You know, everywhere was red uh, from the fire. Georgina Crocker called 911 as a woman screaming captured her attention. They were just screaming and crying because they weren't sure if anyone was home or not. It was more terrifying because I heard the screaming. And um, sorry, I get emotional because I'm still... I kind of shook up about that. North Couch and Duncan RCMP say the fifth wheel trailer which was being used as a residence was fully engulfed when they and firefighters arrived and an autopsy will determine the person's cause of death. Any idea at this point how the fire started? No, uh, that's something that arson investigators and uh, people from the provincial fire marshal's office will be assisting and uh, helping us determine. The fire commissioner's office will send one of its investigators Tuesday. It says these RV fires should serve as a warning about the dangers of living in them. The tragedy with these are you don't get an awful lot of time to react if there is an incident in these uh, uh, residences. And so uh, uh, we just want to make sure that people are prepared. Prepared by having fire extinguishers and smoke alarms in place and paying extra attention to space heaters and electrical wires. Georgina Crocker says RV homes highlight the need for more inadequate housing on reserves. It's been a major issue about housing. Yes, way up north, but in our own backyards. 